Got some scaling going on here. Let me adjust this slightly. I had the game scaling set smaller than this uh, but when I cleared the the progress to start over from this screen uh, apparently that also got deleted which is fine I don't see any reason to not do the soul bind. Like, probably nothing bad will ever happen. See, like most games just tell you that they'll autosave, but they don't actually make you sign a contract to do so. So like, can you really be sure it's autosaving? I do love making bad decisions.
now that we've signed the end user license agreement, we get to play the video game. I'm dreaming of a world. I'm dreaming of a lonely star in the sky. Asking if that was two seconds of harmonica? Yes, that was. So, Clockwork Calamity in Mushroom World by Sylvie and Hubble. Sylvie is. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, every song in this soundtrack is vocal. So, look forward to that. Uh, Sylvie makes a ton of free web games that I enjoy. Generally a combination of weird, cute, and challenging mechanically. And this was, I believe, her first commercial game. Available on Steam and other fine retailers. Uh, but we made it free at the end of last year. So it's been on my sh my stream list since then, uh, but it kept getting delayed because other stuff kept coming out, the uh, Racing Lagoon translation and La Mulana 2 DLC, and the Planet Like a translation, but now here we are. It's time. Don't actually have anything in my inventory right now. something around on the inventory screen it has a line coming out of it. That's because if it's out of the bag and you hit done, then it'll just get chucked along that trajectory.
I would love some hints. Just give me all the hints. <laughs> based economy, it seems. That's probably nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. 
Graves has a different symbol on it, which might be the clock hands the tutorial person was talking about. So these might not actually do anything until I have the pictured clock hands. While we're here, I guess we should talk about the platforming a little bit. Because this game has, like a lot of Sylvie games, unusual mechanics. And this one is when you about hit a wall, you get launched into outer space. So like I'm not actually like wall jumping here by pushing a button, I'm just running into the wall and that happens. Can't actually make it up there though. These are just decorative flowers. The rainbow shrimp. Awaken to create a rainbow. That makes sense. Just value, but so much value. So much is definitely one of my favorite amounts of value. Exactly like the hand that that character has. Okay, 
this person seems to have my minecart license. Maybe we're not going to get back up there. Learning a lot about 
out. Mushroom zones, which we haven't found any of yet. Assuming that the starter shrimp is just a basic, basic shrimp. I think it is. Let me toss it so we can examine it again. over there. And that was the door to the canyon, I think. Canyon cliffs. Yeah. Assuming we can get uh, um, um, almost got up there. Huzzah, we did it. to actually get up there right now. tell people on the street. Thank you. 
vendor one floor up was selling a cat that's also a key so maybe we can trade that for that clock in An attempt was made. Thank you. 
don't have a license. <laughs> Minecart mini game. I get a clock hand. That screen to the left with all the skulls is the terror graveyard. Found a mushroom zone. We can hopefully get more shrimp moaning. This is the shoe store.
I'll, I'll tell you what's too heavy for my pitiful body. Thank you very much. Hop into the mushroom zone. See how this works. There's an air meter. So you only get to be in the mushroom zones for a limited amount of time. I don't know exactly what happens when you run out. If you just get warped out or if there is a worse consequence. I guess we'll find out. Air meter doesn't deplete while the inventory is up. Reject it. Shiny over there. Mushrooms home, gonna bring these mushrooms home. Mushrooms own, it's a place I like to roam. Can we fit everything in here? Surely. Okay, did we keep everything? Okay, we kept everything. Cool. Not really a consequence to running out of air. You can just do that as many times as you want. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't know that can be bothered to try to fit another mushroom in here. I guess we'll just leave that over there for now. Mushrooms home, gonna bring these mushrooms home. Can we fit a tiny shroom in here somewhere? Expanded bag. Every day city life. 
Okay, I think we can trade that for the minecart license. We also have slightly more air than we did previously, and I'm not sure exactly what caused that. I don't know if it was the bag or just trading in general. But we had 100, and now we have 103. pushing anything on the keyboard right now.
going to say, I'm not sure I can make it up there. And I just immediately made it up there. dialogue of the canyon in person and the shoe salesperson. I don't know if these hearts have any effect besides that. I think hitting those is what increases your air meter, because now I have 106, and I have 103 before that. Okay. So reading people's soul diaries. Something we should definitely do whenever possible. Mushrooms on, gonna bring these mushrooms home. Mushrooms on, it's a place I like to roam. Thank you. 
I guess there is a hidden passage over there to get into there. Mushrooms, I'm gonna bring these mushrooms home. Mushrooms own, it's a place I like to roam. How to cram this minecart license into my bag. Yeah, I love getting cursed.
wary child, cause your adventure just began. We don't need this in at all. Because we already got the wild, mine cart license thing. They worked so hard on these hints. Thank you. 
Intending to just leave the minecart license in the minecart room. But this is fine. and so you actually zone change, I guess. It's cool because I want to go see if I can turn in this clock hand.
Kind of, but maybe not. It has a similar shape, but it doesn't exactly match the outline. Unclear. Could have just been grabbing white shrooms and tall shrooms from the mushroom zones of the other two areas I haven't been to yet. That's fine, we're just throwing money away. the hands over there. <laughs> Continue throwing money away. zone to explore, um, but also to, to keep going in the upper area we need to buy the treasure hunter's magic balls, for which we need wide shrooms or tall shrooms for. Uh, so to do that we'll, instead of throwing our money away, um, instead we'll just See if we can find the mushroom zones in the other two areas, and then we'll go back later. 
Before we start exploring the Cavern of the Ancients, I'm going to go get myself something to drink. with hydration. We'll talk to whoever this is over here. Found the cavern hit person. to the left. Important info. Okay, we hadn't found any locked doors yet, so I guess they do in fact exist in this game. Yes. <laughs> 
The gift shop. actually have prices on them. I guess you just have to trade something and find out. Okay, there's the mushroom zone. Can we get there? Maybe not. Okay, let's go. Okay, this might be Racing Lagoon. Thank you. 
resource from that shop. So we'll find out by resetting the sound here. Okay, she does restock the cats. Good. secret passage up in the room above, but it's much too high for me to get with my current capabilities. So I guess we'll go down next. Mushrooms See if there's anything home. down there. might be able to find the gift shop items mushrooms elsewhere home. without having to pay for them. Mushrooms home. Mm -hmm. 
Just barely got to this refill. here unless we can figure out how to get up further. So we do have to take that one passage in the wall for additional shrooms. find a white shrimp, but we're going to run out of air before we get there. Especially if we bonk off the wall like that. Memorial Coffee Mug. until we respawn. I'll try that again. This time, hopefully, we won't fall. Suggesting I go to the left there. Thank you. 
That's pretty far. We're gonna need more air before we can get into here further. Oops, that's a bounce. Mushrooms, I'm gonna bring these mushrooms home. Mushrooms own, it's a place I like to roam. same graphic, these keys aren't all the same. The normal key. There's the garbage key. There's the key. That's expensive for no reason. Keys. What's belong to a demon? That's on sale. And the key that just feels real nice. Just barely. 
Mushrooms home. Mushrooms home. It's a place I like to roam. Easy. Wasn't even worried about it. Mushrooms on, gonna bring these mushrooms on. Mushrooms on, it's a place I like to roam. Just leave this key here for future use. Probably a better plan would just be to take a big loop across the surface and just fall back down here instead of trying to do this every time I want to go over the place. turn it into a bridge. Okay. 
while I'm down here, I can do the thing I was intending to do before, which was just chuck the minecart license. But first, we'll play the game again and get cursed again. I wonder if this game has an end. Like, you can keep going. And as long as you don't collect 10 diamonds, you get the, the end and something happens. You also barely have any control during this. I'm not actually positive you have any control whatsoever over the minecart. I thought that maybe if you hold back, you go a little slower, and if you hold forward, you go a little faster, but possibly. That's not actually a mini game. It's just a randomly generated terrain. required here. See what happens. Okay, got a bridge. Good. Okay, so now we're here.
just realized that items stack, so theoretically if you can get them all to land correctly, you can build staircases. This may be forbidden tech. to get another clock hand. Alright, let's let's lose this race. Okay. Zoom in. Probably referring to the city. Is there one in each zone? Only princess rooted to a floating island in the hills. Skeletal crone cruelly displayed by a cliff's edge. Okay, so that's here. And that's at Canyon Cliffs. That's Cherry Blossom Hills, and then that's the, the city. 
This door leads to somewhere unnerving. Okay, that's what it's one of the locked areas we have a key for. We can examine and inspect each of these statues. Installing the video again. Okay, so each of the switches starts left, and then when you flip them, they only toggle between up and down. information to flip these switches like you're flipping them just entirely based on how you can derive a direction from the messages or if we need more information from elsewhere. are the odds. Deep in the cavern. 
Never mind. Here's a taco sack. They say that heists are strictly forbidden, but that only makes me want to heist harder. My desire to heist only grows. This is involved in 100% of the game. Which, as we were told in the contract, is very difficult and time consuming. Welcome to the modern and cool museum. We've got a lot of items, and I'll let you see them. Love is a game that I'm playing with you. Thinking several moves ahead while I decide what to do. Thank <laughs> you. 
I would say that this is fairly typical of games by Sylvie. This is not particularly a more is a, building where a mushroom hallucination scientific or than the stuff she usually makes. I was hoping that if I rolled the museum dice and got something new, then it would come up in the museum. Uh, but I actually have to leave the museum and come back before the six came up. I'll roll this until we get a four. of historical, scientific, or artistic interest are kept. Hanging out with you at the cool museum, pointing out your favorites so that I can see them. Love is a game making me so confused, when you look at me that way I know I'm gonna lose. Give me four, please. Oh, there's a four. Okay, cool. This is the magic and missile, anyway. didn't actually give a count of how many items are here. Welcome to the modern and cool museum. We've got a lot Don't of have any shoes or bunnies yet. You see, um, love is a game that I'm playing with you. Thinking several moves ahead while Here's I the decide point. what to do. Nice. A museum is a building where objects of historical, scientific, or artistic interest are kept. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, once we heist, this is definitely the room we're heisting first. Because this sign is outright daring us to heist. Heist partner. Okay, I don't know how to signal, however. theoretically duplicate items that we wouldn't otherwise normally be able to get more than once through the magic of heist. Keep that in mind. The second person we found who has a shard of Ivalis, which is Sylvie backwards, by the way. I don't know if there's like a special artifact or something we can find, or if this is just like we can trade it for that uh, novelty coffee mug that counts as an artifact from the cavern. Okay, I think this goes back to the room with the first mushroom zone in it. Yeah. Deep in the cavern of the ancients. Deep in the cavern of the ancients lies the fire. 
That was better than the first time, but still definitely far short of beating her in that race. thinking in order to talk to that person on the racetrack who's in just like completely inaccessible you have to get to it from below tricky to land after wall bouncing if there's a ceiling it's only like one tile high and there's a ceiling above where you're trying to get into I don't know if that thing about a different rare mushroom is sold here every day of the week. Is it every day of the week? Yeah, each day of the week. I don't know if that's actually depending on my system clock or not. If it does depend on the system clock, that will prove tricky for streaming. Okay, I think 
think we could trade the Sanic Mushroom for some shoes. We're actually just going fast right now. By virtue of having it in our inventory. See if we can beat that race now. Closer, but still not fast enough. Air boost. ingredient Taco Bell doesn't want you to know about. Once again, 
again, pretty beefy area. I do want to get one of those items that slow air depletion. But that would require actually like saving up Pony and not just impulsively spending them on mushrooms that look like Sonic the Hedgehog. Why? a rock. I need that rock. Might have bounced off too many walls here to make it to the rock. It's a poison shroom. I do want this. Let's see where we can cram this in our bag. It should be possible to fit this here. Because we take ambient poison damage. this for now. We'll see if the person with the shard of evil is here will actually trade it for the novelty coffee mug.
beautiful queen entombed in the pyramid. Pyramid being this triangle. issues. I don't know how these compare to
trade them for these junk parts, but I don't know that I actually want this for any particular reason. As a bonus, we're not being ambiently poisoned anymore. Shoes is going fast.
See if we can win this race with the boots of dashing and only dashing forever. Okay, first jump. Already trouble. possible to make that jump. Then we have another one of these. Okay, seems like a very bad idea. That will not work the way I want it to. I have no idea if this is intended to be possible with these shoes. Thank <laughs> you. 
That almost worked. So fast, the frames can't keep up. Please. Okay. It's close, but I didn't wait long enough for that jump. I don't know if we're going to make this. Definitely doable. Deep in the 
here and come back. Okay, spend another five minutes trying to get back up here, like we did the last time. up there, but then bounced off the wall, set myself back down. Oh, did it again. Excellent. Back to the speech rooms. Don't know that I currently have any use for one.
little more things in the museum now. To make it up here is actually what seems pretty foolproof is to not try and just get the wall bounce until it just automatically takes you up there on your own. Like all the times I've been, made it up there recently, I haven't been holding any of the keys after getting. bounce cycle going just takes me up there on its own which is great because I love doing nothing was in a place I couldn't get to. Yeah. Oops. Okay, it actually is now glowing to indicate that I have that can, but I can't actually jump up there right now with the powers I currently have, so I can't inspect that grid. That one is not glowing, so that's not the hand of Earth. do it for this week of Clockwork Calamity and Mushroom World. I got two out of the 12 clock hands. So it seems like I was in about three hours and ten minutes or so. So it seems like there is quite a bit to this game. Although maybe next time we'll just get ten clock hands all in a row. We'll see. Next time we'll see Cherry Blossom Hills, apparently. I'm not entirely sure I'll be streaming next week. I would like to, but I'm not going to be at home. I'm going to be spending time at my aunt's. Um, and she has better internet than me, so theoretically I'll be able to stream, but I don't know if I'll actually like, be available to stream. That's going to be the issue. 
So I'm hoping I will, but if not, I'll be back in two weeks with more of this game. Until then, y'all take care, and I will see you later. I'm dreaming.